Okay, I'll, I'll speak on behalf of the board, okay, because as you know that that position is not only entrusted with the board, but the, the minister also gets involved. I mean, the minister is also the final arbiter on the position. Uh, but the SABC board deliberated largely on the, on the issue of an acting position. As you know that to stabilize SABC, we have to have full-time positions, and people have to be measured on their positions. And at a top level, we've been having a lot of actors and actresses, and we're trying to move away from that. So uh, Mr. Shawujin Tuning has been acting in the position for quite some time. He's well familiar with the organization as a whole. He's been working in various departments of the CBC, and he has really proven to be a hard worker. We've had uh, him evaluated by various boards, and uh, even during the Lulama, is the previous CEO's tenor, uh, who has produced a very good recommendation as an assessment to the board. So we do believe that he's a capable person to, to, to carry the function, and um, we really wish him well. So with the new minister's vision as well about the SABC, because the fortunate era now is that the minister that we have has been fami is familiar with the broadcast space one, but secondly, she has participated a lot in the portfolio committee uh, in communications portfolio committee. So she, she's really up to speed with the issues of SABC. But you know, it's an issue where you cannot blame one person for the fallout of any matter in SABC. The, the very boards in SABC, in 110, they, were, they, were, they changed four boards. That alone destabilizes any organization. It could have been any other state up. But secondly, the, way, the, the reporting lines of SABC are too cumbersome. You know, you are interviewed by the par Parliament Committee. That has nothing to do with the shareholder, the, the minister, and then you are appointed by the president. Uh, you know, it really creates a bled uh, governance and uh, management of issues. But uh, this minister is taking up all our issues, you know, things that, that concerns us as an SOC, and uh, we really feel indebted to the country in terms of how we, we want to do business. But uh, Mr. Msuling's appointment, just like all other appointments, position has been filled, we're excited about it. We're looking forward to stabilizing the CBC even further. The two other positions have been advertised, the CEO and CFO, and uh, it's a different situation with uh, Mr. Klaudu, who has acted much above uh, the term of, of acting position as far as it's laid down by the law. So he has been put in that position for a reason. Well, my philosophy personally, I, I believe that if you change in anything, you're not going to make friends about it. If you change something for the good, you will attract negativity. And you must be strong enough to deal with that negativity. Uh, in my view, I mean, my judgment of Mr. Mtsweneng during my term ever since I came is that he's focused on his work. What he has to do is to protect the interest of the business, and he's doing exactly that. A way he, he comes across challenges, he bounces them to the board, we assist in whatever way, and this is how we do. So as far as his competency for the job is concerned, we do believe that we're very confident that we're dealing with a person who's committed to do better for the country. He's, he's loyal to SABC, and SABC has a lot of competitors. That's another thing. Print media is a big competition. We have a wider a, a, a audiences, and uh, who doesn't want to be with the SABC? So we are very proud, and we think that you know he will continue to serve SABC in the best way he could, and uh, we do believe that he adds value to the country. And if you look at the assessments that were done, one of a, a very striking uh, a value that he has, he's managed to raise money for SABC. As you know, that the funding model of SABC is also another big challenge. But he's managed to make sure that the organization is financially sustainable by raising money for certain projects within SABC. And one of them is the launch of the 24-hour news channel, which has been a challenge in the past. I mean, the management was crying and, and people were mobilized for this project. They, end up, they ended up being you know, asked to, to leave the project because it was not flying. But he's managed to make sure that he amasses some energy and he, and he raised money out of his own with uh, other uh, partners, and we do have today a 24-hour channel. But also dealing with the issues of bargaining council, he's been very instrumental in relationship building with the unions. 
And uh, it really is an element of wealth if you look at the dynamics within SA. We say that to diffuse a lot of impasse that exists in one way or another, he manages to bring parties together and negotiate quite effectively. We want to continue with our business, and if anything emerges and it is that of law breaking, we will definitely consult and we'll deal with it. We are very bold in what we want to do, and we are very decisive in what we, we, we charge on.